California citrus seafood ceviche. You guys, are you ready for this? This is perfect for one of those nights that you just do not want to turn on the oven. So let's make it today on Don Loves Food. We're gonna use lemon, lime, tomato, onion, some jalapeno, and oranges. We're gonna add a little sweet to that heat. I'm gonna use Mam Mam Hansen's old school juicer and all of it by hand. Take the lemons first and squeeze them all out. I grab my strainer, go ahead and pour the lemon juice through to keep the seeds out. And then I just use my spoon and just kind of push all the rest of the good stuff through. Now it's time for the California oranges. Go ahead and put that in there too. I like to use as much juice as I can and the pulp so you get a little bit of that sweet in that heat with that jalapeno. You guys, it is amazing. Now we're ready for the tomato, the onion, and the jalapeno. Now I like to seed the tomato and just use the outside flesh and go ahead and dice it all up. Bite-sized pieces, same with the onion. For the jalapeno, for those that love the hot, keep the seeds in. And if you wanna keep it a little bit more mellow, you can take the seeds out like I'm doing here. Best way to test your jalapeno for the spice is to just taste it. And some jalapenos are super flaming hot and the other ones are mellow. So use your best judgment. Time for the seafood. Okay, so the shrimp, I got deveined shrimp, so I'm just peeling off the tails on the outside. And you don't have to go super expensive or super large on the shrimp because you're going to be cutting it up into bite-sized pieces anyways. So save yourself some money. All right, now it's time to assemble all this in a bowl put all your ingredients in, and it's time to pour all of the juice on. Now, some folks will parboil the shrimp. The juice will cook, quote unquote, cook the fish, and it's called denaturation. And this is a safe method that is used in South America all the time. So if you feel like you want to go ahead and do that extra step, feel free to do so. Mm, look at all that orange. So go ahead and give it a stir. And I actually had so much juice here, I ended up adding a little extra fish. I added some extra bluefin to it. So, you know, just keep that in mind. If you've got some more room, go for it. And here she is all done. She has been sitting overnight in the fridge. All that fish is completely cooked and amazing. Some folks will, um, you know, only cook it for three or four hours. I like to let it soak overnight. All right, so let's plate this up. We're gonna use some fresh jalapeno, radish, cabbage, avocado, and limes tonight. And some good old crunchy tostada shells. So serve this all up family style, gather around the table, have everybody build their own tostadas and add whatever they want. I love my ceviche and my tostada layered with everything. You'll find the link to the recipe on the Don Loves Food website in the show notes. For more inspiration, you can head over to donlovesfood.com.